The Earth is warming. The polar ice caps are melting. There are droughts in Africa, hurricanes, and storm surges. Every day, the effects of climate change make news headlines. Businessman Paul also keeps reading about it in the newspaper. It is all quite alarming, but also very far away. Climate change has nothing to do with his company, he thinks. Or does it actually affect his region? Well, he can't do anything about it. He has to get to his office and deal with his own problems. It's another hot day. Hopefully there won't be any failures today. They need to get a big bulk order finished. Two of his employees already called in sick yesterday because of nausea and fatigue. The rest of his staff is exhausted. So much for finishing the order today. Better not think about the last storm that was so severe it caused a hill slide right behind the factory premises. The basement was flooded with muddy water. The whole electrical system broke down. And what's more, a supplier was affected by the flooding, and Paul had to put the production on hold for over two weeks. The financial damage nearly cost him his company. Untouched by his problems, his customer insisted on the agreed-upon delivery date, which Paul was unable to meet. The contractual penalty was enormous. He never wants that to happen again. Maybe these are the effects of climate change after all. What do we know about the climate impact for his region? Temperatures show a clear trend. Summers are getting hotter. In 1990, an average of five days saw temperatures over 30 degrees Celsius. In 2050, it could be twice as many. We can also expect to see a change in the distribution of rainfall. Longer periods of drought may be disrupted by heavy local rainfall. The dry soil won't be able to absorb the water, which will lead to floods and erosion. Even if we cannot make any exact predictions, these events will occur more frequently. The implications for all departments of a company can be significant, not only for procurement, logistics, and staff, but also for production, sales, and disposal. Ultimately, its competitiveness will always be compromised. Paul has had enough. He wants to do something about it. Starting with something that is easy to implement and cost effective. He could find additional suppliers, for instance, to have a backup if one is unavailable. Flexible hours on hot summer days could allow employees to come into work early and they would let in some fresh morning air at the same time. Suddenly, Paul's mind is overflowing with ideas. Over the next few years, he wants to plant trees in front of the building to create more shade. He could also produce his own energy with a solar plant or a small windmill. This could help offset the energy costs of the new ventilation system that would probably be necessary. To avoid the basement flooding again during heavy rain, he could make a rain garden, hollow depressions to avoid overflow and further damage. There are plenty of other possibilities to adapt a company to climate change. Depending on the industry, it may even open up new business fields and opportunities. As a decision maker at a business, you will always have to consider how much adjustment measures would cost compared to the possible damages. Also, think of how much new revenue you expect to generate. That way, with foresight and decisive actions, you can face the effects of climate change and remain successful in the future. Do you want to know if your company is affected by climate change and how you can adapt to it? Find out more at www.business-climatechange.com.